finance charge. How do you find finance charge? To find finance charge, you take this APR, which is the annual percentage rate. We talked about um, interest last time, compound interest, simple interest. This is the APR, okay? So this credit card uh, is getting 22.99% APR. That's pretty realistic of what credit cards are. Um, they're usually really high. So 22.99 annual percentage rate, that's over the entire year. To find the finance charge, we just want the monthly. Okay, so we have to take this APR, which is for the year, that's um, annual percentage rate, and we're going to turn that for the month. Okay, now how do we do that? We just divide by 12, and that's what this step here is doing, divide by 12, because there's 12 months in a year. So they borrowed or they have a balance of $500. So they take their APR, converted it to a decimal, divided that by 12, times that by 500, and that gives them their finance charge. This $9.58 is the finance charge for the $500. Again, what they did, they have a $500 balance on their credit card. They have an APR of 22.99. So to find this finance charge, this is the money that the credit card company gets. Take the APR, convert it to a decimal, divide by 12, times that by 500, they get $9.58. We round to the nearest cent when we're talking about money, of course. Okay, so an example we might have is find the finance charge on $1,300 with an APR of 29.99. So we're going to find the finance charge, what the credit card company is going to charge us for spending the $1,300. Take the APR, convert it to a decimal, divide by 12, because the finance charge it happens monthly. Okay. And then we're going to times that by 13. Hundred dollars. All right, I'm going to go over to my calculator here, and I'm going to do that. 0.2999 divided by 12 months times $1,300. And we're finding it's about $32.40, looks like 9 cents. Okay, go back over here. So I'm finding $32.40. Nine cents is the finance charge for that $1,300. What did I do? Took my APR, that's my annual percentage rate, the year rate. Took that, converted it to a decimal, divided by 12, times it by my $1,300, and I found my finance charge in this case was $32.49. Okay, so that's the finance charge. That's what the credit card company is charging you to spend money on the credit card All right now here this table is going to be a little bit um step by step these are really common you're going to have these on your homework you'll have it on your quiz and then you'll have it on your homework or on your exam uh, so this is really common with the course but each step is really easy okay each step is really easy we just have to identify our pieces so we have a balance of two thousand dollars carryover balance. We have an interest rate 1599 APR and a minimum payment of 7%. Okay, so a lot of times credit cards will have, you have to pay at least this. Okay, and that's usually either um, a percentage or a dollar amount. So it'd be like you have to pay at least 8% or $26, whichever is larger. So that's what we have to do. So in this credit card, we have to pay at least 7%. So when we get to minimum payment, that's what we're going to do. All right. First thing I have to do is I have to find what is that finance charge? Well, I have an APR of 15.99. So I'm going to divide by 12. I'll do that now. So 0.1599 divided by 12. And then I'm going to times that by uh no yeah then i'm gonna times that by the carryover which is 2000 
And here we are. We have 2665 as the finance charge. Okay. What is the new balance? The new balance is we're going to add these together. Why are we going to add these together? Because the company charged us this finance charge. This is what the balance was already. So it's 2000 plus the 2665. So we have 2000. 65. That's our new balance. And then the company is going to charge us or it makes us pay a minimum balance of 7%. Okay. So 2000, 26, 65. And we have to pay 7% of that times 0 0.07. And we have to pay $141.87. One four one eighty seven. Okay, now we have to pay that. So our balance will be the difference of these two. We have to take the difference. Okay, why do we have to take the difference? Because we paid the minimum payment. So 20, 20, 6, 65 minus 141. 87 and our new balance there it is 1884.78. okay and the process continues it continues now we have to find the new finance charge well it will be smaller right because we paid we paid some but we're still going to have a finance charge okay so how do we find the finance charge well i take the apr 1599 divided by 12. And then I'm going to times it by the new carryover balance. Okay. And it looks like that's going to be $25.11. Okay. And eleven cents. Right? New balance will be the sum of these. Eight, four. Plus 25, 11. Okay, it looks like it's 1909.89. There we go. Minimum payment is 7%. That's what the credit card is making me pay. I have to pay 7%. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this value. Let's do equals 0.07. And I'm getting $133.69. Okay. Now I pay that. So I'll find the difference. 1909.89 minus 13369. And it looks like it'd be 20 cents. Okay. Hopefully, I plugged that all into my calculator correctly. Hopefully, hopefully, I didn't make any arithmetic errors. But that's the idea of filling out this chart. So we had the carryover balance. We found the finance charge by taking the APR and dividing that by 12. Then we multiplied it by the carryover balance. So we found the finance charge. We added these two together to find the new balance. And then this credit card is requiring us to pay 7%. So 7% of the new balance is our minimum payment. We pay that. So we take the difference of the new balance and the minimum payment, and that becomes our carryover balance. And the process starts all over again. APR divided by 12 times the carryover balance is our finance charge. Then we add these two together. It's our new balance. Then 7% for this particular credit card is the minimum payment. We pay that, so we find the difference. And this is our new carryover balance. Okay. Each step is fairly easy, but you have to go step by step. Okay. And notice I have like I have to go each step in order. So I can't go straight down here. Okay. So that's 
um, part of the process too. But there's a lot of steps there, right? So I'm going to open it up. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns about that process? I have another example here, but are there any questions, comments, or concerns about that process? How I got one of those numbers? Where did it come from? Why did I divide by 12? Where did 2,000 come from? Any Does questions? Does APR usually equal 12? So APR, there's 12 months in a year. APR means annual percentage rate. Uh, annual means year. So we always divide by 12. Is, is there any question that would usually um, indicate that it wouldn't be 12? Like, is there any way? No, because it's problem? annual percentage rate. It's annual percentage rate. So that's yearly. There's 12 months in a year. So you're locked in it. You're dividing it by 12. Last week when we talked about compound interest, you could have quarterly, daily, monthly, um, semi-annually, annually. But that can change. But APR, you're locked in. It's This is the year rate. They charge you per month. That's it. So good question, Michaela. That is not, that does not vary. I, I believe it was Michaela that answered it, but, or asked it. Okay, let's keep going. Hopefully the process will become uh, simpler as we go. We're trying to get to month four. We're starting with a carryover balance of $950.50. We have an APR of $19.99 and a minimum payment. Again, in this example, is 7%. Okay, so what do we do? Well, I'm going to clear my calculator because I don't need any of what we just did. So I'm going to find the finance charge. The APR is 1999, so I need to divide by 12. So 0. 0.1999 divided by 12, okay, times my $950.50. $15.83, it looks like, for this individual. The new balance is the sum of these. 50 plus 50. Looks like 1,600. Sorry, that's not right. What did I do? Uh-oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I multiplied. So it looks like I multiplied instead of added. So let's do that again. 950.5 plus 1583, $966.30. Okay. So maybe more important than anything I've taught you in the class so far, um, I made a mistake. I made an honest mistake. And it will happen to all of us. How did I know that I made a mistake? Because I went from $950.50, and all of a sudden I was in $15,000. I knew from common sense that couldn't have been right. So I had to look back. What did I do? Oh, looks like I multiplied instead of added. All right, fair enough. Hopefully, that's probably obvious to you, but sometimes just having an idea of how this is going to go is just as important as following the steps. All right, minimum payment for this one is 7%. So times 0.07. Here we are, $67.64. Okay. Now 966.33 minus 67.64. And that looks like it's eight hundred and ninety-eight dollars and sixty-nine cents. Okay, now I have to start the process all over again. So I want to find the finance charge. How do you find the finance charge? Take the APR, divide by twelve because it's twelve months in a year, times this by the carryover balance. Okay. And that's $14.97. So we see that the finance charge is going down. We're making payments. It's going down, but it's still there. Okay, so 
new balance is the sum of the carryover balance and the finance charge. So great, 898.69 plus 14.97. Okay, and to find the minimum, this is saying we have to spend, we have to pay at least 7%. So times 0 0.07 gives us 7% of that. And that's $63 and 96 cents. You can see that all of these numbers within their own column are the same order of magnitude and they should be decreasing and they are. So that's good. Now we make this payment, new balance, minus minimum payment, 913.66 minus 63.96, yeah. And we have a new carryover balance, $849.70. Finance charge, how do we find that? We take the APR, divide that by 12, and then we times by the carryover balance. We find 1415. Okay. We add. I messed up somewhere. It looks like I multiplied again. 849.7 plus 14.15, Minimum payment. $60.47. We make that payment. So I have to subtract 863.85 minus 60.47. Okay, again, what is going on with these problems? I think I have my highlighter here. We're starting with carryover balance. We find the finance charge by taking the APR, divide by 12, multiply it by the carryover balance. Then we add these to find the new balance. Once we've done that, this credit card also has a 7% minimum. So we take 7% of the new balance to find minimum payment. It will not always be 7%, but in these two examples, it was. Once we find the minimum payment, we make it. So new balance minus minimum payment becomes the new carryover balance. And we do the process over and over and over again until we've accomplished our goal, which was to find the carryover balance of month four. So that will do it. Okay, let's see where we're time. We're 20 minutes in. I think we're okay. Let's keep going. I don't think we need to skip this one. All right, complete the table. The APR in the account is 25.99. Minimum payment is 4.5% new balance. And each month there's an additional charge listed. So it looks like in this case, we're gonna make new purchases. So we had $100 on the account, but there was zero finance charge. There's a new purchase here. So we're gonna get new balance. How do we get new balance? We're going to add these up. So that's 100 plus the 91.50. Okay. Minimum payment on this credit card is smaller. 191.5 times we want to take 4.5% of this number. 0, 4, 5. We find that 8. Dollars and sixty two cents. And then we make that payment. Okay. So we take the difference 191.5 minus 
$8.62. And what do we have? $182.88. All right. What is our finance charge now? It won't be zero now. Well, we have an APR 2599. So we need to divide by 12 to find the finance charge. 0.2599 divided by 12 times 182.88. And that looks like that is $3.96. And then they purchased another something maybe it was a bill or something another sixty dollars so we need to add that in 182.88 plus three dollars and 96 cents for the finance charge and they maybe they paid their internet bill with the credit card so that's 246 dollars and 84 and we have to make the minimum payment which is 4.5%, make sure that I don't do 45%, that would be bad, $11.11. .11. Why is this minimum payment going up? Because we're making new purchases. In the previous example, we weren't making new purchases, but this person is. So their minimum payment is going up and not down. But we do make that payment. So let's do that. 246.84 minus 11.11. We have 235. Oops, and then for some reason I wrote 6. 73. Okay. Now, how do we find finance charge? We take the APR, 25.99. Divided by 12. Okay. And then we times that by the carryover balance 235.73. That's five. Oops. $5.11. The finance charge is going up. Why? Because they're making new purchases. So that makes sense. If they're not making new purchases, it'll continue to go down. But in this case, they're making new purchases. Not only that, they made another purchase, $55.20. Who knows? Maybe this is their water bill. My water bill is around that, and it varies. So let's do it. $235.73 plus $5.11 plus $55.20. And we get a new balance. 29604. All right. Minimum payment is 4.5%. So we have to take 4.5% of the new balance. Let's do it. Times 0 0.045. Don't let me take 45% of it. $13.32. All right. That's the minimum payment. We make it. So let's make it. 29604. Minus 1332, $282.72. All right, that is their carryover bill. Month four, including finance charge and including making the minimum payments, even with new purchases. Okay, any questions, comments, concerns, critiques, compliments? about question four. A lot of steps, but each step, I think, is relatively easy. Any questions about that? Starting balance. In this case, they had no, no finance charge for that month. New purchases, added it up, find the minimum payment. Then we're back to where we're used to. Starting balance, finance charge, but then there's a new purchase. So we have to add that up. 
minimum payment in this credit card it was 4.5 starting balance finance charge add them up with the new purchase new balance minimum payment and there we go starting balance okay so on your homework you'll be expected to do this remember the way you find the finance charge is you take the apr divided by 12 why 12 because apr is annual percentage rate next time you're driving around you'll see on the billboards there'll be i mean assuming you live in a place with billboards uh you know there'll be this apr it's definitely on tv every commercial break or any ad on youtube um this apr this apr this apr it's all listed everywhere but it's usually super tiny so you gotta get your magnifying glass out if you have weary eyes uh, but that is the idea you do not need a special calculator for this notice the only thing i did was add subtract multiply and divide for um, section 10 credit cards okay nothing nothing fancy just add subtract multiply and divide it's just knowing what to do on each step okay hopefully that makes sense section 10 really important i think you could uh, agree with me that it is important for students or anyone to understand credit cards before they take out credit cards. But many of you probably had some kind of finance class in high school. So that's good. So that's probably just review for you, right?